going on everybody? It's Tate Hudson from Huber Engineer Woods coming at you today from a Zip System job site in the beautiful North Carolina mountains. We're going to be talking about why builders do what they do and how they choose the materials that they use to accomplish their goals on their builds. Hey, Brandon Bryant with Red Tree Builders here, Asheville, North Carolina. Our motto of our company is mindfully built, artfully crafted homes. And one of those aspects of our principles is air tightness. The reason why we want to take air tightness down and where we control the indoor air quality. And so our houses are more comfortable to live in, they last longer, and our homeowners are having a healthier lifestyle inside our homes. We really can't talk about an air barrier system without talking about the massive holes that we end up cutting in that building for our windows. So what we've got here is a window rough opening with the sill flashed with zip system liquid flash. That's what you see here in the bottom of the sill pan. It's a fluid applied version of our tape. You can use zip system stretch tape, regular zip system seam tape, or this liquid flash at this sill. Really the important piece here with an air barrier assembly is that when that window is installed, we want to be sure that it's integrated back properly with the air barrier so that there's no leakage throughout. So another really critical location where air sealing is very important is where the zip system sheathing ends and the foundation wall begins. At this joint, if it's left untreated, air can leak out under the sill plate and underneath the air barrier of the zip system sheathing. So what we've done here is use zip system liquid flash to address that joint. It sticks really well to the masonry, bonds really well to the zip system sheathing, and it's keeping any air from leaking out of that joint all the way around the building. At inside and outside corners like we're showing here, where your wall changes directions, you have a, a lot of potential for air leakage at those locations as well. So with zip system sheathing and tape, we can make sure that the tape properly bridges across that corner and seals it up both on the outside and on the inside, making sure that there's no air leakage at your corners. Penetrations are a really important place for air sealing as well. So that could include anywhere where a beam might be coming out of your wall, uh, a pipe or an electrical penetration coming out. You want to make sure that you're tying this back properly to the zip system sheathing so that that air barrier is continued all the way around that penetration. The great way to address penetrations is with zip system stretch tape. Uh, here we're going to be using the three inch zip system stretch tape, which gives you the right amount of coverage on the penetration that you're trying to flash, as well as transitioning to the zip system panel surface, continuing that air barrier at all those penetrations. A big thank you to Brandon and the whole team at Red Tree Builders for having us out on this beautiful job site and telling us how important air sealing is to his business. And those are some air sealing tips made easy by zip system sheathing and just some areas to look out for. Uh, for more in-depth details and technical tips, feel free to check out our website or our at Huberwood Instagram. We've got plenty of Tech Tip Tuesday videos on there as well as on YouTube. Always remember to roll the tape and we'll see you next time.